Hi everyone, so welcome to the penultimate video in my 12 makes of Christmas series. So today's video is video number 11 and I'm going to be making a coloured matchstick and resin footed bowl. It's going to be a relatively small proportion, probably 3 to 5 inches high, and then it's going to have a little uh, wooden and resin top. I don't have any footage of me making the blank, so the next thing you're going to see is going to be the blank mounted on the lathe. So without further ado, let's put it onto the lathe and let's see how it turns out.
So there we have the finished bowl and lid. And I've got to say, relatively happy with this one. Um, the only thing I probably would say is I don't think the lid actually works with this. I think it's better off just as a sort of chalice shaped um, desk pot. So you could put your paper clips or your um, little accoutrement in there. Um, I don't think the lid actually adds anything. If anything, it probably detracts because it's a bit too busy now. You've got the really nice turned lid and then you've got that pot as well. I think that the two of them just don't gel. Um, they look a little off. So I think what I'm going to do is keep this for another project at a later date. And I'll just have that as a little sort of stemmed um, pedestal bowl for a desk. But the uh, resins come through nicely. You can see the colours of the matchsticks. And again, very, very smooth. I've done the same thing as I did with the coloured pencil pot from yesterday. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out at the link at the end of this one. Um, and it will take you through to that project. So I've not been using the wet and dry paper, instead I've been going up in very fine grades of sandpaper and then putting in a sanding seal and some Yorkshire grit. So although it's not absolutely perfect, there are a few marks, you can see a few of the chisel marks and, and the sanding marks in there, uh, where the wet and dry would have got rid of those. It hasn't had that same effect where it sort of goes into two different dimensions and is very rough on the hand. This is very, very smooth and just has a very nice flow to it as well. There's no sort of little chips and little bits uh, missing from that one. So all in all, really, really nice little project. Probably could have done with taking that in a little bit further and giving a bit more of a taper, um, but it's quite a nice sort of very stumpy-esque feel to it. So I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. If you have, if you could please like and subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification, that'll let you know every time the video goes live. So thanks for watching, stay safe, take care, look after yourselves, and I'll see you tomorrow for the final instalment of the 12 Makes of Christmas.